Karen in the Lake Stamper here in Grand Blank. How are you today? Well, I've been AWOL online. I know. <laughs> I know. I've been AWOL. I've been busy with some uh, some of my card kits uh, for the month of March. And uh, yes, about 40 women, I swear. It's been a busy, busy time. So uh, thank you to everyone that participated and helped out and also uh, want to buy these lovely kits. Uh, it's a labor of love and I really enjoy it. So thank you so much. So I had a little time today and I thought what we would do is do the vine design and, oh my gosh, wrapped in bouquet, okay? And I thought these would be fun to do. Uh, not too hard to do either because, oh my gosh, when you have this flowering vine design, you have this beautiful, There's there's one of them, and then you've got three of these huge die cuts to use. I mean, huge. And they're great for ombres and for making out beautiful colors. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's, it's really easy and it's a lot of fun. Um, if you are new to my, uh, my YouTube channel, uh, check it out and hit subscribe. And if you like what you see, smash it twice, okay? Love to, love to have you. Uh, so today we're going to use the Fine Art Floral and... This is my fine art floral design sampler that I have here, and we're gonna use a lot of the batik colors, I think. We're gonna use that yellow, and we're gonna use that orange, because it goes so well with the poppy parade. And this is what we have here, all the colors that do match. It's great to have this at, at a glance, so I can see what's gonna go, so I don't use like, you know, lovely lipstick with this, or something ridiculous. <laughs> So anyway, a couple things here. We're going to do this one, but um, it's really kind of fun to do the negative part when you're doing the ombre, and you can use that inside for your uh, lovely card. Isn't that pretty? Kind of doing a dual purpose using, uh, you know, your vine design and your vine design die cuts with, uh, with another uh, stamp set. It really is cool to do. So let's move this. And I did do, uh, just to show you, I did do this one using this die cut. Came out so pretty. Again, the Fine Art Floral. And a very simple card. Lovely, though. Isn't it just lovely? I know. I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And, oh, a big shout out to some of these ladies that are uh, buying my card kits and sending me cards. I love what you do. You send me cards, you don't sign them, and and then you pass them around to people. It's really the coolest thing. So um, to the ladies that have done that, there's a couple of you. I am sending cards out to you, and I won't sign them, so you can use them too. I'll, I'll, I'll have a surprise inside your packet. So I just wanted to say that. I thought that was just the coolest thing. Um, so anyway, um, let's get uh, going with the square, uh, or rectangle, I should say. So I already die cut this, all right? And what I did is I put it on a three and three quarters times five, okay? I just put a little snail on it, just a little bit. Nothing too, you know, so it can come right off. Make sure it's kind of even. Now get your daubers. This is the coolest thing. Let's get the daubers out, all right? They come in a set of three. I just love them. The colors we're using today, we're going to use uh, Bumblebee, and we're going to use our fave, Poppy Parade. All right, make sure you put the, the ones with the right one. Yeah, don't do, don't do what I did. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm going to get the Poppy Parade out first, all right? Um, and I'm going to just show you the coolest thing to do is just use your finger or whatever you want and let's go halfway all right so I'm going to just rub my I love these they're so soft I mean the bristles are amazing I just want to FYI that okay <laughs> great for foundation <laughs> now because I want to use this uh, wisp, the Whisper White or Basic White or whatever it is that <laughs> I can't remember because I mixed them all up um, you want to make sure you do the whole card because you want to use this card and you want to use this uh, die cut, okay? All right, so again, I just use a uh, kind of a blend and I, I just want to do it light to dark, um, 
and it really it just depends on that that moment you know it's like a Monet you know it just depends on what mood I'm in <laughs> you know if you're angry you can really put a lot of color into it <laughs> so okay so anyway I am just getting some darker colors on the edge of this area here okay and then I'm going to do just a little bit lighter here okay and you'll see that I've covered the whole Whisper White paper here. Okay, super. Now, I'm just gonna put my Poppy Parade to the side so I don't use it by accident. Let's get out Bumblebee, all right? I've got the Bumblebee color out. Let's do Bumblebee. I know, right? Um, and give that a nice little shout out here. Now, I also put my hand down, even though I've got a little bit of snail, snailing this down, just in case so it doesn't move. Otherwise, it'll come out blurry. All right, there we go. And then I'm just gonna butt it up to the, the lighter part of the poppy parade, okay? Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty so far? Now remember, this piece is gonna come right off and when it does, it's amazing. And you created it. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And it takes maybe five minutes to do this, depending on what kind of colors. If you wanna use, you can use two or three colors. You don't have to just use two. I'm just doing two, uh, you know, just to kind of get an idea. And then, you know, maybe go back with my, my Poppy Parade a little bit, all right? Look at that. See, maybe get it a little bit darker here on the edge. And right there. Okay, look at that. So pretty. Now, before I, I have a nervous breakdown, let's close these so I don't accidentally use them since we're done with them. Right? I know. <laughs> Ah, oh, kill me. All right, so got them closed. Let's move our little daubers. That's probably the messiest part of the whole thing. And it's not really that messy if you think about it. Now, I move, we're just going to, oh, this is so cool. This is like, very cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Super, super amazing, and look, you now have, not only do you have the negative part of it, you also have the one that you can use for your card. I know, it's pretty cool, I'm loving that. And um, through the magic of YouTube, <laughs> I know, isn't that amazing? Um, this is your card using uh, the five and a quarter times four, and then whisper white, all right, and that's three and three quarters times five, and then this piece here, bam, and then any kind of sentiment from the vine design. Now, I love this. Uh, I think it comes out beautiful. I, use it, I used gilded gems with this, but just doing this one piece, one piece, and stick it on some whisper white or basic white or whatever you have, and uh, again, I used Poppy Parade because I've got Poppy Parade on this and Bumblebee. You could use the Bumblebee cardstock as well. Um, isn't, that, isn't that cool? And then I uh, popped up some, um, these have already been done. I used this beautiful little stamp set here and then die cut. Okay, pretty cool. I know, <laughs> easy peasy. Now, what we will do, however, is we're gonna take our card which I know, through the magic of television, I've got two of them now. <laughs> so I have the first, the first one is five and a quarter times four. And then obviously I have one already ready, but I wanted to show you that um, this could be a card all by its lonesome and you don't have to do any work to it except put a sentiment on this. And that's what makes this so fun and so easy to do. Um, 
and um, and the colors, any kind of colors you want to use. This looks kind of batik to me, in my opinion. So let me put these on, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I have the dimensionals on, so we're just going to put that right smack in the middle of the first mat, and you have a card in seconds. Isn't that amazing? You get two for the price of one card. <laughs> So I am using this beautiful die cut here, okay, from the Vine Design. And I am just going to have something really simple. And a vi these are lovely cards. They don't take a lot of time to do. I took a uh, Poppy Parade and then the basic white, and I just shadowed this, okay? That's all I did. Now this one here, I took two of the um, Poppy Parade and just cut it in half. And bam, I've got a nice little mat around the whole, the whole sentiment. So um, this one, just a little different, you know. Um, I decided to do a lot more thinking of you because that that's an easy, easy card that I can send a note to or something, and um, it it really is helpful to have those cards ready, you know. <laughs> um, so um, right now I'm going to use some gilded gems and. They've got some beautiful flowers that you can also pop up on here if you like to die cut. That would be great. Um, I'm just going to actually just do these gilded gems. And if I can get them, there we go. And I'm just going to put some just sporadic around the card itself. Of course, they're stuck to me now. I don't know why they do that, you know. <laughs> um, let's do... Let's do another one here. Okay. And let's do one over here. And it's, there we go. They're, they're a little temperamental today. There we, and I think, let's do one up there, um, just to finish it off a little bit. And there, that's it. Simple, beautiful card. And it's the negative part of this one here. I mean, that's easy to put together. Um, and now this one I did do flush, but this first mat I did on dimensionals, okay? And so this is this one's uh, this one's on dimensional. This one's flat too. So uh, I usually do a lot of dimensionals, and so I did pop the whole thing up just to give it a nice little height, and then I pop this second one up okay so that gives you some idea to do with the rectangles I think they're beautiful and then I've already shown you the round okay so now you've got three cards which took seconds right and the other card is using the wrapped bouquet all right so I did one a little bit more elaborate um, using the negative and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this together it won't take but a second I already have a lot of things already done I am going to show you that newspaper, <laughs> that newspaper that everybody's been having like, oh, I hate it. <laughs> you know, you die cut it and it comes out like this. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So here's the die cut for the newspaper. It's, it's origami. That's all it is. So what I did is I die cut this piece here. I stamped it first using Memento Black. I tried the basic gray. It was too light. And, you know, you really want to get it all nice and curled up like a newspaper but here's the lines of the origami so you take these two okay that are on the side here and you just bend them back that's it you take the middle uh, line which is this line right there okay and you push it forward to the left to your left all right and then you take that last one that's this this uh, line right here and it goes just like that and then you, you can actually add another little uh, line if you want to, just to cur curve it up to make it really newspapery. So let's do that again. <laughs> so here's the newspaper that you get from the die cut. All right. This is uh, scored here. So you fold it back, scored here, fold it back, scored there, go to your left. All right. And it's scored here, go to your right. All right. And then you've got this other score, bam. And you've got a cute little triangle. <laughs> All 
Okay, we'll have a test light later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, I used uh, basic gray for the stamping, all right? And what I usually like to do for the flowers is, especially in the middle, I want it to have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of excitement. I use some petal pink just to get it going in the middle to have some um, definition. And there we go, I think I'm gonna use. And I just kind of follow the lines and that's about all I do with those flowers. This is also using So Saffron, and I used uh, Flirty Flamingo, and I used uh, Poppy Parade, of course. I mean, hello, I've got all Poppy Parade, right? And here's my other Poppy Parade. Now with the Poppy Parade, what I usually do is I take the fine point and I literally just give it, give it the lines of this flower, okay? And that's it. I used a beautiful uh, olive, old olive, and I used some granny apple. I mix them up a lot, and I used my flirty as the lighter, okay? And this will dry, and so when it dries, you'll see all the lines even better, okay? And then I just do a little dab of the little flowers, and you can do any color you want, okay? Doesn't really matter. Let's do these flowers up here since I missed them. There we go. And then just a little bit over here. I don't spend too much time except just doing a quick, quick, I mean, it's easy to follow the lines. Um, it's, it's not hard to do, and it really is uh, very peaceful to do. Doesn't take but a, f a few minutes um, just just to get the flowers the way you would like them, and you're done. All right. Now, I also like to add Winkastella. So let's get some of that. Okay. I'm almost out. I've been using this, using this. Oh my God, I've been using this. So let's. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do a little bit on my flowers and what another thing it really just brings these flowers to life okay um, especially your your softer uh, colors and also if you're gonna put embellishments on uh, your flowers like I think I'm gonna do with my so saffron the yellow one I don't really it's it's fine if you don't have anything in the middle of these three flowers because you're gonna cover them anyway okay there we go a little bit on the leaves. It just gives it a little oomph, you know? Okay, perfect. All right, now let's put this card together. So we're using Poppy Parade, all right? Again, this is the other side of the, I know this is a great, that's a great one too. I love it, but I'm gonna use this side today. <laughs> bye bye right? <laughs> So we're just going, to, this is five and a quarter times four. A2 size, obviously, right? Okay, so just uh, even this out. Shouldn't take but a second. Oh, first try, love it. Love that, don't you? Okay, now, this is one of my negatives. But I also did one in Poppy Parade, and I thought it was kind of cool looking. So I thought, let's just, let's just pop this up right on here, right? So I am going to do a little snail. These are pretty thick uh, with this cardstock, so you're not going to, it's not gonna break. Um, you can use whatever, you can use Tombow, whatever you, you want, I just, I like my snail. So again, we're just going to make sure all my little things are all punched out, which they are, there we go. Just wants to stick on there. Okay. And that makes a great frame, doesn't it? I mean, it's so pretty. In fact, see how easy it comes back up? If you don't like where you're putting it, just put it right back down again. It's going to stay, because we're gonna have something on top of it. Lovely. And even if it comes up a little bit, that's okay, because we're gonna have something right on top of it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so now we have used the rectangle uh, dies. Uh, which ones did we use? We used the 
rectangle stitched uh, dies, and I used the second or third one, I think uh, one of the little baby ones, or next to it, and this is a nice little rectangle. Love that. So, so cute. So I am going to uh, pop this little guy up, and of course, let's see. Oh my gosh, I found my dimensions, dimensionals. <laughs> I know, it's always when you're filming, you can't find anything. <laughs> okay, um, Okay. so let's just take these right off. I'm just gonna place this right here in the middle again. Okay, so now you've got a really cute uh, mat. Look at that, I mean, you could even keep this as is, put a sentiment here. Um, maybe some ribbon or whatever and then you're done with this card as well um, it's so cool looking um, but I thought let's uh, let's try to incorporate other you know other little uh, beautiful stamp sets that we've all bought and now I've got my newspaper looking pretty cool okay um, and actually you know what you could do you could actually take this go get your newspaper <laughs> And die cut the newspaper. <laughs> what a thought. I know. I don't get the newspaper. Uh, I get the flyers. You know, I could <laughs> use them. They're all in color. <laughs> so it's got this little stem here. All right. So it goes right in here. And then what I like to do is make sure that these flowers are popped up and they're not underneath that paper. Okay. So see, they're just popped right up there. Easy. Look how pretty that is. A little bouquet. But we're not done with that bouquet yet. No siree. Uh-uh. Because we have to add some leaves. Give it some height. Just like when you're doing um, any kind of beautiful bouquet, which I do love to get. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, there. So far, so good. Now, I took the liberty of getting some already done. So you wouldn't have to watch me do them. So everybody knows how to die cut, right? So I did some granny apple with some mossy meadow. And I usually like to do it really simple. I go to the back of the card that of the stamp that we just did, and I just put my leaves and glue them right on the back. That way I know they're gonna stay. They're not gonna have a nervous breakdown and get off, right? see and in fact let's put this little guy right back there see and you turn it around and then you can maneuver it where you like and then let's just put this one right next to the granny apple okay and you can you know rearrange it and if it even if it rips like it just did who cares because <laughs> it's going to go back on here anyway and you're not going to see all of it so Pretty darn cute. All right, there we go. And then let's put this green one right over here. Granny apple, I should say. Okay. And you know what I found? I found an, a vellum in my stash. So when you have anything like this, use it, right? Because, oh my gosh, it just adds a little bit more dimension to your to your little card and to your leaves. I'm gonna put it behind that green one and it has a nice little shadowing effect. Um, there we go. That's so pretty. Now, let's get our newspaper. We're just gonna make sure he's in there, right? And now we have a pretty bouquet <laughs> pretty cool huh now I like that we can just put that right smack in the middle you're still gonna see everything right and it's still amazing it still looks gorge and um, you know it's it, it really is able to utilize I want to use utilize all of our beautiful stamps that we have and I have another secret to do too, if you get tired of this bouquet. <laughs> oh, no. I 
love roses. I, I think that that's one of my favorite, but I do love, oh my gosh, I love my hydrangeas, but I don't get them those delivered. I used to get roses delivered to me. Um, but th those are my favorite. And uh, let's see. Okay, perfect. Now this one I put flat because I've got this one up and it looks amazing. I'm going to pop this up though, I think. Um, yep, yep. And you don't have to. You can do it flat if you want. You know, that'll work too. And um, it's just really up to you what blows your hair back. That's exciting. There we go. And you can add more leaves too. I mean, you don't have to just add. I added about, what, five? You can add a lot more leaves if you like. Um, I think I. that's all I die cut. Oh, I've got one more. Let's put one more on here. <laughs> I'm so excited when I have leftovers. Oh, good for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever I've, you've got, a, I know a lot of us have die cut extra stuff. Go in your stash and find your extra stuff because that's so helpful. Oh, my gosh. So this beautiful rectangle, okay, from the rectangle dies. I just love that because now I can center my beautiful, beautiful arrangement here. And it's popped up which I think is cool looking. Look at that. Now, see this is sticking up a little bit, so I am going to make sure that stays down. Okay, and you can do some Tombow on that or whatever, you know, just so it has a little bit of a, of a really nice curve for the newspaper. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, another keeper. <laughs> okay, now, Let's get some jewelry on here. You'll see on this one, this one's a lot more busier because I used the print of the art, um, the fine art floral. Um, I used my little tag, the for, the for you, and I used, um, again, the leaves and everything. So that makes it really exciting. This one here is really centered on the bouquet itself, all right, which I think is pretty cool. So let's add, I'm, since I'm into gold right now, I'm going to do the gold with this whole theme, um, which is always a girl's best friend, I think. So let's use this size, okay, again. Remember what we talked about with the these yellow flowers, the So Saffron. Don't worry about doing the center of these because we are going to pop this on it right here and you're never going to know that we didn't do that center. All right. Um, that's what I love about these. Okay. Little embellishments. They just make the whole, gosh, they make the whole thing, don't they? I love it. And then let's do, let's do some baby ones. Okay. Just a little bit of the baby ones right here and let's do this one here and this one and one more I know I know okay that's that's a keeper and then if you want to uh, just for extra glue get one of your mini glue dots okay can never find them on here. Here they are. And just take one of your mini glue dots and then just stick it on that newspaper so it'll stay. There you go. Okay, pretty amazing. I, I'm in love with these. Okay, I'm in love. I've got extra cards to hand out to some of these ladies. Oh, and I've got a secret. Let me show you something. So, let's say you like the bouquet and you like the newspaper, but you want to change up the flowers. So die cut any of your flowers, this is one of them, and change the bouquet. <laughs> See? Yeah, you can put different flowers on here. No one will know. <laughs> I just thought that was a cute little idea. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, when you've got some time, you gotta really get the uh, wrap bouquet and the beautiful vine design and the flowering vine design um, die cuts because you will have so much fun. Look at that, five cards, didn't take me that long and I'm now I've got some more supplies to give out to people. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this because 
I mean, look how many cards. I've now got a better supply of all my cards now. Look at that. I still have some cards I can be doing, too. Look, I've got this one already done. And this is the, the second one that we, we haven't done yet. But look, I've got more cards. I can just pop these up on some basic white. And look at the cards that you can get done. And how gorgeous is this? I mean, this is pretty amazing. Love. Use up some of your card stock uh, from your celebration. And that's what I wanted to do is use up my card stock. I think it's amazing how pretty these are. I would like a bouquet of flowers. I know. I know. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you had a great afternoon with me. Uh, anyway, take care. I will chat with you soon, all right? Happy crafting. Bye.